Can you talk us through that? And is it just for this year? Nah, I had this year and we extended by one year, so uh, essentially I've got two more years to go. And how did that come about, mate? Obviously you always wanted to stay here, you've, you've had a, a great career reserve since you've been in Adelaide, is it a simple process for you? Yeah, pretty simple, yeah, once uh, sort of mid-year started talking about the possibility of an extension and um, yeah, the club was happy uh, with where I was going and I was happy with where the club were going, so it was a pretty easy process, uh, sat down at the end of the year and, and got it all done and uh, sorted pretty quickly. And, um Yeah, I probably just what you've seen um, from what it, when he was at Sydney. You know, he's clean, moves well. Um, you know, probably one thing his voice uses his voice really well, and um, you know, directs out on the field. So um, that's that's an added bonus. We, I, you know, for me, I didn't know that that's what he was like. But yeah, you get everything else. Beautiful kick. Um, you know, tackles well. Um, so he's going to be a great asset for us. That's you reflect on your personal season now, and obviously uh, how well you went had a bit of time to uh, look back on it. Yeah, yeah, you sort of reflect quickly and um, yeah, I was pleased with how I went um, on a personal front. Um, I thought we sh showed really um, good signs and improvement as a team as well. And, and yeah, going into this year, yeah, I quickly moved to this year. I want to improve yeah, again myself, but um, more importantly, I want to improve as a team um, and yeah, I'll do whatever I can um, to help us get to the level that we want to get to and, and get back to playing finals football, which is what the club wants. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, we've only had a couple of sessions with them. Um, they've all settled in, settled in pretty nicely, and they all seem like good kids. So, um, yeah, they've done bits and pieces of training, and they'll obviously join in more as the uh, yeah the training sessions go. You know, pre-Christmas and then get stuck right in post-Christmas. Has uh, Shelley sort of impressed anyone? Anything that comes to mind? You sort of think, oh, you've got that for young people. Yeah, there's, there's one that he took a, a um, yeah, hit up at the ball the other day, um, out full stretch and uh, took it as clean as anything, rolled around and then lay someone out in the forward 50. So um, to have yeah, just the cleanliness, um, the attack at the footy and then, and then to finish it off um, was pretty impressive. I think it was probably his first touch um, at the club, so I know a few boys were impressed. Um, oh. Probably a little bit more secretive. You don't really know what's what's coming until uh, until you get hit with it. So uh, you wouldn't dare ask well, how many we got left or anything like that. You just keep running until you're told to stop, or yeah, until you can't run anymore, basically. <laughs> is, that, uh, is that something you guys are embracing? Are you, are you excited about the opportunity to be one of the fitter teams in the club? Yeah, well, I, I think even last year, um, yeah, we come out beginning of last year, you know, flying and you know, towards the end of the year, you know, middle part of the year, fatigue probably got us a little bit and we had a few drops in performance. Um, so we've got a really strong base and, and yeah, for someone like Berger to come in, I'm sure he's going to take that to the next level. Just on the mental side of things, I heard you speaking last year about how you sort of changed your approach with a mindset coach. If Berger doesn't tell you how many more you've got to run and it plays that sort of game with a more than physical one, how, how can that be an advantage for you? Or how do you use that sort of thing to, to help you? Yeah, oh, it definitely tests. Yeah, it tries you. Um, it's probably, for me as well, one of the harder things. Probably shouldn't have said that because now you'll, you'll make it even worse. Um, yeah, I hate not knowing what's coming, but you know, you sort of think, uh, think about it in a, in a football sense. You've got no idea how long's left in the game. Um, you know, a quarter could go 25 minutes, could go 35 minutes, and you just got to keep running until the siren goes. So, um, you know, as I said, everyone's embracing it so far and at different times you'll crack, but um, yeah, you just got to stick to the method and keep trusting that he knows what he's doing and yeah, you're only going to reap benefits from it um, yeah, by doing it all pre-season. Um, oh, yes and no. I, I, I came here because I wanted to have a change, uh, move away from family and friends and I didn't really know how long that change was going to be. Um, you know, it's now six years going into my seventh, and you know, I've got an eighth next year, so I've actually spent more time you know, over here. And um, you know, my partner, we're getting married over here at the end of the month, and um, you know, we, we couldn't, couldn't have enjoyed it anymore. We love the city, um, love the footy pub, and uh, you know, the past six years have just flown. So um, yeah, it's exceeded, uh, sorry, exceeded expectation on that sense. Uh, from a football, you know, I had, had ups and downs, but uh, looking to finish you know, my career strongly and hopefully have a few more years to go. Can you go to another level again? 
Yeah, but that, that's the aim, yeah. That, that's something that I'm looking forward to doing, challenging myself over the pre-season, um, keep working um, you know, on the inside uh, stuff to, to allow myself to go in and out um, and, you know, um, yeah, just have more of an impact for the team and, and probably from a leadership point of view, just helping you know, develop a few of these younger boys. Yeah, seamlessly, mate. Yeah, he's, um, yeah, everyone's gotten around him, and yeah, he, he paid his dues. He, he copped his whack and, and admitted admitted fault, and um, yeah, everyone's op yeah welcomed him back with open arms, and, and yeah, it's good to see his personality. It's starting to come to the fore again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, mate, I haven't noticed any difference. So um, yeah, and those boys, yeah, Benny Davis is bouncing around like he normally does. So everything seems yeah you know, as per normal. No, I was going to go home for a little bit, but then uh, my fiance said you can't go home too close because if I get caught in Melbourne, get COVID and can't make the wedding, it would make it pretty awkward. So I think I'll hang around here and stay pretty low until the wedding day. Do you, um, do you guys have any idea of you allowing yourself to think about what next year might look like now that we're all going to be living with COVID and, and, and you're going to have guys in protocols like NBA or something? Yeah. I, I, I don't know. For me, I don't look too far ahead. It, you know, it, it's shown it changes within 24 hours. You know, I remember last year we were, we were here, I was doing a you know, uh, Pilates class on my day off, had to pull out halfway, go pack your bags, fly to Melbourne, and then we're back here 24 hours later. So, yeah, you can't really plan too much ahead. You just sort of take it as it comes. Do you like the <laughs> Oh, yeah, love it. <laughs> no, that's great. Yeah, that's no, good that they've jumped on board. What about the, the little uh, people who will be looking into you and Brody and Jordy to bomb them from outside 50 so they get free burgers? I mean, your range is probably as good as it gets. Do you tend to employ that a bit more? Yeah, yeah, no, I wouldn't mind it. Uh, one of my mates said I should come up with a celebration of, you know, eating a Whopper or something like that, but I don't think I'll get too carried away, but it'd be nice, yeah, if we can uh, treat the fans to a few Whoppers. What did Berger think about Whoppers for players? Um, oh, I wouldn't have thought he'd be too keen on that, but no, I think, I think they're one of the healthier ones. <laughs> Has your diet changed that time? No. No, I'm not eating any more waffles at the moment, no. <laughs> no, no, not, not really, no. Um, yeah, I've only been back for a couple of sessions, so just to, to train with the younger boys, I'm sure we'll, we'll pick up on a few more of his, um, you know, his methods. I, I think he's got a couple of different ones there um, that we'll get used to as, you know, over the pre-season. Um, and then in-season, I think he changes, it changes a few again. So um, we'll just embrace them and take them in our stride talked about the secretive nature of the, the short-term stuff with Berger before. How, how long-term in advance do you know you're planning on what he's got uh, planned for you? Um, I, I think Monday to Friday, yeah, the general gist of it's the same, um, but you just don't know how many reps, what reps, what running you're doing. Um, so the program's pretty much set you know, from week to week. It's just what happens inside of that that changes. Um, yeah, he, but yeah, he communicates it, and then you know, just when you're out there on the oval, that's when you get a, a few um, different looks. He was obviously big on his heat training at Port and Melbourne. Is that something that you're expecting or has spoken about bringing here? Uh, I haven't, hasn't, haven't heard anything yet, um, but I'm sure uh, we'll get a few you know, tastes that. I think during January, we, you know, every year that I've been here, we've trained through multiple 40 odd degree days. So I don't think there's any lack of heat um, floating around here. Have you done the 100? No, no, I haven't. I have heard of it though. Have you done it before ever? No, no, I haven't. I reckon I may do it at some stage, yeah. <laughs>